I can't say that I have a favourite place. I mean, I've always liked Milan. I love kind of the motion of Milan. Their aperitivo was the best. But I was in Puglia, which is a totally different culture recently. I love that too. I think I love the whole of Italy. I think because because we're, that whole drink market and food market is, is becoming more sophisticated and, and our customers are, are really interested in learning something new. They've all travelled a lot too, so they've seen it in, in Italy, in the south of France, that sort of thing, and they kind of expect to have the same thing here. And it set the tone of this business when we, when we spent a lot of time there 10 years ago before we opened Fratelli. In Milan is, is, is the town for aperitivo, and a lot of it has to do with catching up with your workmates before you go home to your family and do the dinner thing. In, in Italy it tends to be a bit later, sort of seven to nine-ish before you eat. Here it's kind of that five to seven thing before we eat. You finish work, you just want to relax. It's, it's, it's about having kind of a quiet drink and small plates of food, just small tastings. Not, it's not your dinner, it doesn't replace dinner or lunch, but it's that five o'clock to seven where you just chill a bit and have something really great to drink. And relax, yeah. catch up with friends. Far more sophisticated, I think, than it used to be. And I also think that people are tending to drink a lot in bars as well, not just pubs so much anymore. So mixed drinks and aperitivos becoming really popular to pop into a, a restaurant that has a bar attached now, not just, you know, the local drinking hole. Cocktails, um, I think, are, you know, more readily available and you can drink them anywhere now, not just certain, certain hotels. Something like an Aperol or a Campari, but particularly an Aperol, it sort of suits our climate. It's that warm, lots of ice, not too heavy, you know, enjoy, just sit through the afternoon. We sell a lot of ones with blood orange, ruby grapefruit, depending on what citrus is in season. Aperol Spritz is one of my personal favourites. I like it on ice, I like it because it's refreshing, not overly bitter, and they're delicious. Anyway, salute. Now let's prepare my favourite drink, Aperol Spritz. Prosecco or Italian sparkling wine, must be a little bit dry. Two parts Aperol. Orange for a splash of colour. And a dash of soda to finish. That's my favourite aperitivo, Aperol Spritz. And something we've named the Chin Chin. Some ice, Cinzano Bianco, wedge of fresh lemon, and a nice beautiful sliced cucumber too. And top it off with some dry ginger ale. There we have it, the Chin Chin. Campari and blood orange, another personal favorite. Fresh ice, Campari. Beautiful wedge of blood orange and the juice to finish. Fresh blood orange juice. For our customers at Fratelli on Aperitivo, Sean's going to make up the mixed cured meat plate. Would you like me to cut a cheek of lemon? That would be great. Just to finish it, we'll give it a nice little drizzle of olive oil. All right, next we'll do the grilled eggplant. Again, we'll give it a nice drizzle of olive oil. So with this dish, we've got this nice burrata. It's really creamy in the middle. Now with that, we're gonna give it a nice little bit of fresh mint. Yum, I love that smell. Okay, the eggplant is nearly there. That looks beautiful. Bit of a smoky smell too. And then we're just gonna put a few nice around on the plate. And we'll just rip up some of this mozzarella. A pinch of salt, pepper, a little pinch of chili. Let's go a little bit of chopped up fresh mint and a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, and the last thing we're going to do here is just some lovely marinated olives. Just marinate with a little bit of fresh chili, some thyme, some bay leaves, and a really nice extra virgin olive oil. Probably one of the more classic dishes on our aperitivo. So simple and perfect with a drink. And a few nice grassini sticks. Yum, looks delicious. Now we just need an Aperol spritz. Sounds good.